This is Brooke, and we are I have Poppy with me today, and I'm sorry, she's a, she's a talker. Shh, shh. So we're getting ready to go live with, um, she'll calm down at some point. Um, shh, look, look, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. It's, Poppy, it's de-stress fest. You have to be quiet. So welcome, everybody. My name is Brooke. And we are getting ready to go live with Stretching for Stress. And so I hope that you'll join me in finding a comfortable spot and uh, stretching some tense areas uh, that tend to get really tight when we're sitting, when we're stressed, when we're super tense. Um, so we're going to work on that in just a few minutes. But before then, if anybody has any questions or just wants to get anything off their chest, uh, I am available for that as well. I hope you're all doing great today. This is my favorite time of year. I love De-Stress Fest and I miss seeing all of you in person, but I'm excited to do a little stretching. I've been studying all day myself and uh, super, super excited to get moving a little bit. So feel free, please throw in the comments, how are you all feeling today? Tell me, tell me. I'm gonna wave at you all. Hello, hello, hello. Poppy says hi. How is everybody feeling? Are we feeling carefree and not stressed at all? Hello, <laughs> hi. She'll stop eventually. Hi, everyone. So um, before we get going, if you, eh, ready for a stretch, yay, me too. So you all have the option of doing the following sequence in a chair, or if you would like to join me on the ground, you can do that as well. Wonderful, Jackie, that's fantastic. Um, I invite you, if you are um, going to be on the floor, I invite you to grab a pillow if that is comfortable for you or a blanket that you can sit on. I have to move this beast. There we go. So you can come sit on a pillow. You're gonna find really any comfortable seat. There we go. And as you come to sit, we can rest in easy pose. You can bring the balls of the feet together if you'd like, allow the knees to fall out to the sides. You can rest in lotus pose, half lotus, if you'd like to pull a foot up over the opposite knee. And if you're in a chair, I encourage you to come to rest, rest your seat on the edge of the chair with your feet flat on the floor. I want you to be able to ground through the four corners of the feet. Wonderful, it's so great to see you all today. I'm really excited to stretch out a little stress with you. So welcome, my name is Brooke and this is Stretching for Stress. So um, as you come to find a seat, I want you to think about grounding through the hips. So allow the hips to dive down into either the earth or to really settle, um, connecting you to the chair, just feeling really stable. And allow your hands to come to the tops of the knees, palms up or down, whatever serves you best. And I invite you to allow the eyelids to close if it serves you. If you'd rather, you can keep them open. And we're going to take a moment and start to focus on the breath. Taking a deep inhale through the nose. We pause at the top and exhale through the mouth. Your tongue is resting at the roof of the mouth, allowing the jaw to release. And the shoulders, we're gonna shrug them up to the ears and slide them back as if they're going to fall down the back. Tips of the shoulder blades dive down towards the earth. And I would like you to continue your breath. So keeping the eyes closed, continuing at your own pace here, inhaling through the nose, 
and exhale through the mouth. I'd like you to continue that pattern for a moment, getting yourself in a nice, calm, comfortable space. With each inhale, we set an intention for our movement today. Just maybe a positive affirmation, a word or a phrase that will bring you peace. And as you exhale, let go of anything that just doesn't serve you today. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Continuing the breath. Go ahead and start to lift the chin and allow the gaze to center in front of you and allow the chin to drop to the chest, the shoulder blades diving down the earth. And then we lift the gaze, opening through the head and neck. Exhaling, looking down at our knees and our toes, feeling the length of the spine. And inhale, looking up at the sky. Exhale, tuck the chin one more time. And inhale, reach. This time we'll bring our hands behind the head and we'll continue that. Exhale, tuck down very gently, applying pressure to the back of the head and neck. And then inhale, open the chest and shoulders, lift the gaze and allow the head to fall back into the basket that the hands have created at the base of the spine. Inhale, fill the belly with breath here. Take up your space and exhale as the chin drops to the chest and we fold forward. And maybe it feels good here to round down and over. Allow the belly to expand. Inhale, open. And exhale, allow the belly to fold over very gently. Placing the hands on the back of the head and neck. Inhale, open. This time we'll pause here. Allow the head to fall into the basket of the hands and allow the elbows to fall out to the sides. Feel lengthening through the chest. We open the heart. Receptive and optimistic for what may come. Inhale, reach the palms up nice and straight. And exhale, twist to one side. And we're going to look over the shoulder. And if your knees are tired, you can just let the legs come out. The important thing is that we're sitting up nice and tall and we're finding a twist here, lifting the ribcage up away from the pelvis. And we inhale, reach and stretch, almost inviting the body into a gentle back bend if it feels good. Oh yeah. And exhale, twist to the opposite side here. And as we find our breath, allow the belly to expand. And with each exhale, we settle into our twist a little bit more. the hands to behind the head. Inhale, open. Great. So keep going. As we reach open, we want a little bit of a bend in the back here. And then we exhale and fold over. Exhale, 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 round. Drop the chin to the chest. Inhale, 
Inhaling, reach, lift up, open, and twist to one side. And we look over the shoulder here. Allow the belly to expand on the next exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Inhale, reach. And exhale, twist to the opposite side and hold it. Really exhaling, settling in. to close and we start to shut out all outside distractions. Inhale, reach, palms up. And exhale. Now if you're sitting in a chair, you'll bring your feet about hip width apart, just enough for your body to come down in between the feet and legs. And if you're sitting on the floor, you'll take a small V-sit. And we'll just start to fold over here, walking the hands out in front. We want to keep the feet parallel. And we allow the body to fold over, elbows coming to maybe the knees, maybe the floor. And we want to get to a point where we fully exhale and we allow the head to hang between the biceps. Get to a point where you can fully release through the head and shoulders. So if you turn to the side, we're folded over, belly hanging. We're somewhere supported, so resting the elbows on the knees, maybe. Inhaling up and coming back to a seated position. Maybe legs are out in front, maybe they're still feet are on the floor, and we'll extend one arm out as the ear drops to the shoulder. And then we extend the opposite arm out. And if it feels good, we bring the arm that the head is closest to and we place it over. Giving yourself some space here, lengthening through the neck. And again, the tongue is resting at the roof of the mouth. Maybe we look down a little. Inhale, lift up, and exhale, allow the head to fall to the opposite. Actually, before we do that, bring the head to the center, look down, and very gently start just little quarter circles with the head and neck. Very small, just going to reset before we go to the opposite side. So this time the head goes to the opposite side. We extend the opposite arm out, bring the top arm up and we just place a little bit of pressure here and again we're maintaining our breath letting go of anything that doesn't serve us and our thoughts just kind of run through our head we're not focused on any individual thing maybe we look down Inhale back up, very gently removing the hand and allow the head to just kind of hang between the head, um, between the shoulders and rock gently side to side. Slowly bringing it back up. We go to the top of our movement, bringing the hands in a basket behind the head and neck. 
and allow the body to fall back. And I want you to pause here for a moment chest and shoulders to open. There we go. There we go. Really allowing the chest and shoulders to open. And exhale, fold one more time. This time, allow the elbows to come towards the ears. And allow the rib cage to push air out of the belly. Inhaling, lift, reach arms up overhead, invite the body into a gentle back bend. And from here, if you're on the edge of your chair, you're good. Otherwise, if you're on the floor, allow the hands to come to behind the hips, the fingertips press towards the hips, and we lean back here. Okay. Allow us to see a little bit better. So our hands are placed right here on the mat, our elbows come together, we draw the belly in and the hips fall forward as we lift the gaze. Maybe it feels good to rock side to side here. And we allow the eyelids to close and we get lost in whatever feels good for the body. I encourage you to keep the head in alignment with the spine. We don't want to let it go all the way back. And then we create lightness in the fingertips. And we walk it up. And then we walk the hands in front of the body and we start to walk forward. Now if we're in a chair, you'll bring the feet apart and allow the body to hang coming into a forward fold. Excuse you. And then from here, you're going to walk your hands to the left. And we drive down through the right shoulder, extending through the right side body here. And we should feel some great length along, kind of under the shoulder, shoulder blade, hip area. And once we find our spot, we really allow the body to release. Maybe it becomes heavy. And we fill the belly with breath and we exhale. We lift the gaze, walk the hands back to the center, maybe pressing the fingertips into the floor, lift the gaze, see if you can get a nice tall spine here. And then exhale as we take it over to the opposite side. Oh, it's tight. <laughs> and before we commit, we get ourselves in place, we lengthen through the side body, and then we settle down, allowing the head to hang. And if it feels good, take the top arm and press it into the floor. Should feel some great length all the way up through the side body. And as you breathe, allow the rib cage to expand. Lifting the gaze, inhale, fingertips back to the center. We press the palms into the mat, lift the gaze, start to walk the fingertips up. 
and then we'll go back to where we started with fingertips on the mat and we lift the gaze open the chest and shoulders allow the hips to roll forward and we rock side to side and as we go we're really paying attention to whatever feels great here So if you're on a chair, you're just right on the edge of the chair and you're pressing up just like so, really opening the chest. And we create lightness in the upper body and we float back up. And from here, gang, you start back to the top. So taking a seat, centering ourselves, Finding the breath, placing hands on the knees. Inhale, reach palms up. Exhale as the hands come behind the head. And we lift the gaze, allowing the head to fall back into the hands. Maybe we feel a little bit different this time. Don't eat the treat, no. And as we exhale, we fold forward, elbows come close to ears, and we pull the belly back. We pull the belly back, and we round the spine, creating a C curve. Elbows come to the sides of the ears as we fold. And we inhale, open, we reach the palms up, and we exhale, twist to one side. And this time, you know, we're a little bit more warmed up. So maybe it feels good to really exhale and find that deep twist. And if it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Always go with what feels good when we're stretching for stress. So for those of you just joining, welcome. Feel free to pop in, just take it a little bit easy. We are stretching our stress away. This poppy. Ah, uh, nothing like live stream. Inhale, one more deep breath, and exhale as you take it a little bit deeper. Inhale, reaching up. Maybe we invite the body into a very gentle back bend. And we exhale, twist. So if we're in a chair, our feet are just flat on the floor. And if this hurts our knees, you can have the legs straight out as you twist. You're really going for whatever feels great for you and your situation and your body today. Breathe in, allow the belly to expand. And exhale, looking over the shoulder, the rest of the body follows. And bring it back around to the center. Inhale, reach, palms up. This time, open them big and wide. Bend the elbows, spread the fingertips wide. Lift the gaze. And as the fingertips come back, fingertips face the hips and we lean back. This is one of my favorite things to do in my chair. Turn off my video during meetings and open the chest and heart. Don't tell anybody. It's a secret. I'm always fully engaged in meetings. Taking a big deep breath, reach fingertips up. This time looking between the feet. So if we're in the chair, we bring our feet a little bit apart and we're seated on the floor, we bring the feet a little apart in a V. 
and then we flop over and from here we allow the back to round and we come to rest on the elbows and we allow the head to hang. And ideally the feet would be parallel here so they're not falling out to the side but they are straight up and down and lined up with one another. Breathing deeply into the belly. Exhale. And let's come back to a seated position, taking an easy pose or just finding the seat on your chair. Extend one arm out to the side, drop the ear to that shoulder, extend the other arm out to the side and place a little bit of weight on that stretch. You kind of find where it feels best for you. And return to the breath here. Inhale, lifting up, bring both palms down, looking down at the chest, and allow the head to rock back and forth. And we're only going about a halfway. You never want to go past your halfway mark. And as you go, you're just checking in. How are you feeling? And then dropping the, ear to, dropping the ear to the opposite side, bringing that arm up. Extend the fingertips out. And find the breath. Maybe if we look down, you're really just playing around with what feels best for you. to the breath here. Inhale, lifting up. And this time, bringing the hands basket behind the head. Allow the head to fall back. And bring it back to the center. And from here, gang, we'll either take it to all fours or if you're in a chair, just stay seated with your feet flat on the mat. How's everybody doing? Are we doing good? Okay. So we'll bring ourselves to all fours. Welcome everybody. My name is Brooke and we are stretching for stress. So feel free to join us at any point. You can be doing this in a chair or take it on all fours. We're almost done here, doing great. Good, good. So spreading the fingertips wide, we'll round the spine, arching the back, coming into cat pose. Exhaling deeply. And inhale, plug the shoulders in, lift the gaze, coming into cow pose. Exhale, tuck and round the spine. Maybe pushing back. And inhale, lift. So you all go at your own pace. If you are in a chair, or if you ever plan to do this at your desk, just placing the hands on the hips and rounding and lifting gives you the same mobility in your spine, which helps with blood flow, articulation, um, improved oxygen, improved cognitive thinking, like any kind of movement and stress, or any kind of movement and stretching in a stress-related situation really helps improve that situation. So taking a final cow, uh, cat pose, really push back through. And bring it back to a neutral position. 
to coming back onto into a seated position. I mean, go this way. Go there. Okay. Feet out in front. And we'll take it into a seated windshield wiper position. Good. <laughs> so, placing the hands on the floor, you're going to allow the knees to fall to one side and then switch to the opposite side. So this is a really great opportunity to improve mobility in the hips and stretch through those areas where we get really tight. And if you're in a chair, you would just scooch to the very edge of the chair and just allow, again, your knees to fall to the side. You have got to lay down somewhere. You're driving me crazy. And let's go ahead and pause here one leg out, one leg to the center, plant, so whatever knee is in front, we plant the hand, and we reach up looking through, looking down at the um, wrist, stretching through the side body. Drawing that arm back down, allow the feet to fall to the opposite side, Good. And placing the palm of the leg that is bent and out to the side, down, reach up and over, find length in the side body. If you're just joining us, welcome. My name is Brooke and we are stretching some stress away for de-stress fest. Not that anybody has any stress right now, but if you did, this would be a great thing for us. Filling the belly with breath, we exhale. And let's go ahead and end in comfortable seated position. Maybe we put our sweatshirt back on. Maybe we want to find a seat in a chair. Hi. I know. I'm almost done. Good. So we find a comfortable seat. Palms resting on the knees. It can be palms up, palms down, whatever serves you best. And at the end of our practice today, allow the eyelids to close, the tongue to rest at the roof of the mouth, allowing the jaw to slacken. And we return to the breath. So many times throughout a stressful situation or stressful day, it is necessary that we return to the breath. So as we head into, no doubt, long hours of studying and preparing for finals, remember that you can always press your reset button by returning to the breath. Moving the body. Checking in and asking ourselves what we need out of the rest of our night. Set an intention, positive affirmation and gratitude. Taking a final breath here and a nice deep exhale. I want to thank you all for joining me tonight. Um, I hope that you feel a little less stressed and you are ready to return to your uh, studying. 
And for those of you that have the ability to do so, tonight at six o'clock, I am doing a Sounds of Nature guided walk and meditation with Riley from Adventure Outings. So we'll be taking, um, we'll be going through nature scapes in Northern California and adding in um, sounds of nature and meditation. And it's going to be so rad, I'm really excited. So that's tonight at six o'clock and you can find the link on the Adventure Outings website. So thank you all. I am definitely uh, available for questions. Um, so please feel free to throw them in the chat. I'm going to let the dog out. I think she has to, she's driving me crazy. I need to be in Zen mode. Otherwise I'm going to yell at her. Go outside. My goodness. Okay. So I am absolutely available. Thank you, Trey. So good to see you. So if you have any questions, please feel free to throw them in the chat. Ah, I have, Lizzie, I have access to the Instagram page, um, but I don't, I don't actually own it. But, oh, Izzy, sorry. But hopefully I can answer a question. Thank you, Miriam. Great to see you. All right, everyone. Well, thank you for joining me for Stretching with Stress, and I hope to see you for Sounds of Nature Tour of Northern California today at 6 o'clock. Does anybody have any more questions? Are we feeling good? Are we relaxing to the sound of my barking dog? <laughs> Ah, Izzy, I will have to get back to you on that. We can't post outside events on our page. So um, I will have to look at that direct message and uh, see um, if I can help in any way. Thank you, Haley. But I will definitely look into that. All right, everyone. Well, thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate your time and your energy. And I will see you all soon.